guys just did those uh, because it wasn't as good as mine. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know me, my name is Sean Nykert. Uh, I have the honor of being the best man this evening. I am very happy that Mike has finally admitted that I am indeed the best man. Mike and I met at college uh, at Arizona State and have been friends since. We will get back to ASU shortly. Uh, Catherine, you look wonderful tonight. Mike, you look. First, I, first I would like to thank Mike's parents, Barb and John, and Catherine, Catherine's parents, Don and Maxine, for a wonderful celebration. The rehearsal dinner last night was a blast, and so far the wedding and reception have been wonderful. We'll see what happens when dancing starts. So we've all been to many weddings. We've all seen good speeches and bad speeches. The bad speeches are usually due to the fact that the best man tells an embarrassing and inappropriate story. Now that is usually due to the fact that the best man and groom have had many, sometimes too many, good times together. That is certainly the case with Mike and I. So to lessen the possibility of this being a bad speech, I have brought something for Mike. Mike, this is an easy button. So as I start a speech, you may hit that button and I will stop that speech. <laughs> Please only hit the button, do not hit me, and do not throw the button at me. As I mentioned, Mike met it. No, you shouldn't. No, we'll get back to that. So, as I mentioned, Mike and I met as college freshmen at ASU. Really? Good. Um, I liked Mike because he was crazy, excuse me, he was crazy and fun and easy to find in a crowd in his white St. Ignatius t-shirt, or excuse me, polo shirt that he wore six days a week. I know. Mike liked me because I had a car and a fake ID. <laughs> Sorry guys, probably wrong crowd to admit that. We had a great first couple of years of college, but when we were juniors, Mike, our friend Tim, our friend Angel and I moved into a very special house at 2707 South Flint Circle. For some reason, John Tersey decided he wanted to be a landlord. I'll never understand what he was thinking. I can't believe that house is still standing. And I think I still owe him money for a window that I broke. I'll get to it. I, I think I still owe him for a window that I broke when I locked myself out of the house. I did. I won't even start a story from those, from those years. But so those were indeed some of the best years of my life. Mike and I had many great times in Arizona, but I'll never forget the first time Mike traveled with me to my home state of Nebraska for a Husker football game. Woo! We had decided to have a few drinks on the plane, obviously. And as with any flight, when the flight landed, the pilot came on the loudspeaker and announced the weather. Well, it was in his 30s, in the 30s, and Mike's a California kid. Let's just say that the whole plane find, found out Mike's displeasure for his current environment. But Mike survived, and very quickly, Tercy became a hit with my family and friends and a fixture at many more cold Nebraska football games. Excuse me, football games. Mike and I have also had a mutual love for the game of blackjack in the city of Vegas. Yeah, good call. Those stories never those stories never turned out good. Sorry, Jim. I live in Arizona, so unfortunately I have not yet had the opportunity to get to know Catherine as well as I would like. But because she said yes and we are here today, I can make a few assumptions about her. Number one, number one, she is kind to people, especially her friends and family. I know this because Mike is that way. And I know Mike that would want the same from his partner in life. Number two, she has a great sense of humor. Now I know this because if you can't laugh with Mike, you're not going to be laughing at all. And number two, she is patient. I don't think that needs an explanation. <laughs> so Catherine, on behalf of my wife, Mary, and our ASU friends, we are so happy that you are a part of us now. 
We cannot wait for great times ahead. So to Mike and Catherine, I wish you nothing but the best. I know that we will always be friends. We will travel together. We will laugh together. Our adventures will certainly change over time, but I will continue to care for you, and I know you guys will do the same. So I'll end not with a wedding toast, not with advice, but with a very Tercy-esque ending to this speech. Yeah, buddy. Everybody's glasses, please. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers.